Hi there. Here I've put back on the wheel um, the vase that I threw the base of yesterday and I'm just cross hatching the rim now before uh, adding on its thrown neck and continuing to throw. So I'm, I've left a reasonably thick rim on the piece. Well, I hope it's thick enough, I'm sure it is, to take the weight of the extra throwing. So cross hatching quite vigorously. And now I'm just going to put some slurry all, all the way around that before throwing and adding on lumpy. Let's get a bit more slurry out of the wheel. There we go. Try and get a bit of slurry all the way around. Looks all right. Um, I'm going to check the width that I've got to throw my neck to with the calipers. Uh, okay, infinitesimally larger than the last one. I'm going to fix this back to the wheel head now and throw my next neck piece, which is. 200 grams of soft clay. Uh, the softer the better, really. It could do with being that sticky that it's quite hard to wedge on the bench. This could do with being damper than it is. Although I've, I've had it <laughs> sitting in damp cloths for a day or two. So now it's centred, I'm going through to the base of the bat. So basically it hasn't got a, 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 base, a floor, as it were, as it's going, going right through to the wood. And I've just pushed out, so it's going to be, it's pretty chunky. I'm going to test that for size. Possibly do with being a smidgen larger. We'll hope that's okay. Cut that off. And now I'm going to fix the base and centre it. This is where you really hope that your pot was centred first time round because it's almost in. Well, Quite difficult to get it looking okay if it wasn't centered to begin with so I've taken my neck which is going to try and get it onto the to the pot as centrally as I can and I'm just going to press down lightly now I'm going to just pull down slightly to attach it on the outside It's really rough and it, it, it isn't a very polished process. Um, now I'm going to damp it and my first movement with my fingers on the inside is downwards. I want that to be really well attached so I'm, I'm throwing down. Feels not too bad actually. I'll have to come back and get the profile better, but first I just want to distribute the the weight of the neck. One can see from how it's turning that it's not entirely even, but wonderfully, that's not likely to show afterwards. Mm. 
Now it's got to come in a bit more. I want a narrower neck. So I'm colouring now. Now so I'm speeding, speed up the, the wheel for when I do colouring. I'm going to have to be careful there, I don't want it to be any thinner on that midsection. Yep, that was slightly over-enthusiastic there. But I think that's looking... Okay. So I'm just going to go over that now with something very soft, this very flexible kidney. over the neck. The, one of the things about this technique is you can't muck around with it forever. Um, but I can see a little spot in the neck there where I'm not entirely happy with the, the profile. And that's not something I want to be adjusting when I come back for the turning. But when I turn it tomorrow, I want to be paying attention really only to the to the base of the piece. That does seem better. Okay, so having just spread that rim a little bit more, I need to put the chamois around it again to tidy it up. Okay, and it's a little bit uneven, but. I don't think that's really terribly critical. Sometimes it's hard to see. No, that's that's I think that's okay. And if it isn't, it will just have to be really. Okay, so that, that's that and uh, I'll come back to it for its last, its last treatment tomorrow.